Well, good morning. It's Wednesday, another great day. Even though it's a little wet out here, it's raining as we speak. And uh, you know what? It's okay. And this is what life happens. Sometimes it rains, sometimes it's sunny, sometimes it's snowing, sometimes it's cold. But you know what? We can't change the rain, but we can adjust and change with how we go about our day to ensure that we can get through the day. And it's interesting when you think about getting through the day, how many people make excuses of not wanting to actually make it through the day or make it even through life and why do they rely on excuses well to a certain extent excuses are ways to justify staying mediocre uh, staying bitter having a piss poor attitude about yourself um, about life about other people such as your family and your friends um, deflecting um, your insecurities on the world in a way that you don't take accountability and responsibility for yourself and hence, you develop these excuses that help you find a way to stay that way. And it's interesting when it comes to excuses, there, are, there is actually a way to leverage it to benefit you. And one of the best ways that I have found over my lifetime to be able to leverage excuses in a positive way is by asking the question of why am I making this excuse? What is it that I'm afraid of? What's holding me back? What's, is it a person? Is it a thing? Is it um, more of my own thoughts around me that's holding me back? And once you can question excuses, they no longer exist because excuses really are just a figment of your imagination. We create it ourselves. It's not real. It's something that we create that we then find ways to make it real and hence we live out what excuses are. So. Taking this time to really talk about excuses with you is my hope is to be able to help people understand that you can leverage excuses to be better in a way that you ask questions of why and how it's impacting you and what are the, um, the causes of your excuses or what are some of the factors. And when you can identify it, excuses can be basically destroyed. You can destroy the excuses and rely on accountability and responsibility to put forth the effort to face your fears, worries, anxieties, or whatever it is that the excuses are built on, and then you can move forward. But excuses can also break you down and kill you. And it can kill your potential. It can kill your existence. It can kill your soul. Um, it can kill your whole reason for living. Because when we find that excuses are ways for us to be mediocre, to say that we can't do it, and to associate with people who, uh, who allow those excuses to be real because they justify it as well in their thinking, you are living in a world of destruction. You are living in a world of dying slowly, mentally, physically, and emotionally. Excuses can be very dangerous. We are not meant to make excuses. We are actually meant to push forward beyond the excuse. So take this time to understand the excuses that maybe somebody's making in your life or that you might be making yourself because ultimately excuses are there to cripple you, to hold you back, to destroy you, to question your ability, your existence, um, to question um, if you're worthy of living. That's what excuses do to a certain extent. Take time to not allow them to put you in that mindset, but put you in the mindset of asking questions of it. And when you can ask questions of it, you, you will come up with the answers because the answers lie in our problems. And when our answers lie in our problems, we, have, we are solution-focused individuals that can actually solve our own problems and be resourceful enough to get the tools and strategies that we need to help us continue to move forward. That's what it means to, to really leverage excuses and to actually push yourself beyond the status quo, beyond mediocrity, and to be the best that you can be. Have a great day, everybody.